Hello, in this video, we are going to compare these two numbers. We have 50 to the power of 50 or 49 to the power of 51. We are going to find out which of these is actually the greater number. So what we can do is we have this 50 to the power of 50. Let's divide this by 49 to the power of 51. Or we have 49 to the power of 51. And let's divide this by 49 to the power of 51. So we go ahead. This will give us 50 to the power of 50 divided by, we can rewrite this as 49 to the power of 50 plus 1. And we have or, if you divide this, you are going to have 1. Now what we are doing is, we are simply comparing what we have here with 1. So, if we make use of this identity, if you have a to the power of n plus m, this equals a to the power of n times a to the power of n. So let's apply this identity right here. We are simply going to have 50 to the power of 50 divided by, we have 49 to the power of 50 times 49. And this can as well be rewritten as 50 to the power of 50 divided by 49 to the power of 50 times 1 divided by 49. Remember, we are still comparing what we have here with 1. So, let's still concentrate on what we have here. Now, the exponents are the same. We can have it as 50 divided by 49 all to the power of 50 we have times 1 divided by 49. So let's go ahead. The next thing we can do here is, we can have this as 50 here, we can write it as 49 plus 1 divided by 49, all to the power of 50 times 1 divided by 49. So if we divide through, we are simply going to have, we have 1 plus 1 divided by 49, all to the power of 50. Then we have times 1 divided by 49. Now, in order to make use of Euler's formula, the exponent here must actually be the same as the denominator here. So what we're going to do is, we can rewrite this as, 1 plus 1 divided by 49 all to the power of we can have here 49 plus 1 which is the same thing as 50 then we have times 1 divided by 49 so if we make use of the identity we make we used before remember if you have a to the power of n plus m this equals a to the power of n times a to the power of n. If we apply this identity right here, we are going to have, this will give us 1 plus 1 divided by 49, all to the power of 49. And this will give us times, we have 1 plus 1 divided by 49. And this is to the power of 1 which is, we might not actually write it, and we have times 1 divided by what? 49. So we proceed. Now, let's consider Euler's formula. It states that if you have 1 plus 1 over n, all to the power of n, this is equivalent to writing e. And the value of e is approximately equals to we have 2.718, then we have 2818, then we have 2845, and so many other numbers. But what we can get from this Euler's number here simply means that this number is less than 3. So the whole of this is less than 3. Because what we have here is less than 3. So if that is so, that means we are having here number less than 3 times 1 
plus 1 divided by 49 then times 1 divided by what 49 so we move ahead what do we do we can rewrite this as this over 1 take the common LCM and multiply 49 by 1 plus 1 that will give us 50 so we have number that is less than 3 times 50 divided by 49 times 1 divided by what 49 now if you consider this here this will give us a number that is greater than 1 and also this will give us a number that is less than 1 as well now in order to eradicate this 3 here it is obvious that 1 divided by 49 is less than 1 divided by 6 so we can make use of this number here so that the 6 here we can, can easily divide the 3 so you can have a number that is less than 3 times we have 50 divided by 49 times let's make use of 1 over 6 so what we are going to get next is this 3 will cancel itself 1 cancel 6 2 times so we are going to have 50 divided by 2 times 49 we are going to have 98 and also this will give us a value that is less than 1 now remember we were actually comparing this with what 1 remember we are comparing with 1 let's get back to that have you seen this when we divided 49 power 51 divided by 49 power 51 so we are comparing this with 1 now it is quite very obvious that the left hand side here that is 50 to the power of 50 divided by 49 to the power of 51 is less than 1 this is less than 1 while 49 to the power of 51 divided by 49 to the power of 51 equals 1 so if you are comparing a number that is less than 1 and a number that equals 1 you will agree with me that a number that is equals 1 is greater than a number that is less than 1 so right now we can see or agree that 49 to the power of 51 is greater than 50 to the power of 50 using this analogy so that is for the video thank you and goodbye